and uh, all of a sudden this guy came out of nowhere. The fucking in the flat is right in the middle of the fucking shop cellar. Um, one of the things I've been working on is um, is mining a scene for quality. I think rarely can we happen upon a scene or a location and kind of dig beneath the surface in terms of, uh, you know, like really creating some magic. It takes repetition, being patient, and um, I think revisiting the scene, revisiting the location, and keep at it. Even, like, when you're shooting, like, on the day, like, I think what happens at times, we'll get, we'll get like a really juicy click and we'll throw in the towel. When we do have that, oh wow, what a shot. What if we just keep going? We just keep going, we like, like keep pushing the envelope. It's kind of what I'm, I've been working on uh, of late. And I think something that I used to do and uh, it's like I'm remembering that. But also it takes being alert and vigil being vigilant. It's not just about turning up and shooting the scene again, having that intention to see more, to be alert. Because um, I think it's like the mind, we label everything. We think we know what's there. It's like we, we put it in a box and then we stop looking. But I think um, so having an awareness of that, being vigilant, like I said, a little bit of repetition, hanging in there, being patient, and revisiting that scene over and over, uh, we can begin to untangle that. We're gonna be, begin to see more. Another benefit I find of just like, of, of pushing it, is like, oh, I've got my shots, I've got my images, but then we, I keep going. Is that, uh, and I, don't, I have no idea how it happens. You can call it the law of attraction, you can call it um, luck, or you can just call, you can call it magic. I have no idea what it is. But in my experiences, when I do hang, hang in there and I keep pushing it, uh, I put the work in, then uh, there's payback. That's kind of, that's what I'm working on. It's my intention. And uh, like, so for example, uh, with this video here, I was literally, there was nobody about. It was opposite my mum's. There's a little bench, the bus stop. I've, I've posted shots from there before. The light's really sweet, spilling through uh, around about half past seven in the evening at the moment. And uh, all of a sudden this guy came out of nowhere. Huh? No, it's not that sad. This is right. There's no line. They put me in lengths on right? This is where they put me. In Rumford. Go and have a guess. The brewery. You know the brewery? That's a that's a shopping mall. Yeah. The fucking the flat is right in the middle of the fucking shop set up. Can't get no fucking sleep without it. It's not a fucking, it's in the middle of nowhere, do you get me? Absolutely. I lost the flat up fucking late and stuff, yeah? And then I fucking got to go with a load of wrong ones up fucking ill for it. They took the flat over, I got kicked out of there. I was lucky to get my ass, it's my last chance, man. Last week I got fucking two years spend sentence. You know that's a that is a council estate over there. I'm Gary, pleased to meet you. Beautiful here, isn't it? Do you want to do any more? Huh? Do you want to do some more? Hey. So I've been over here, right? I've been over here, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. He ain't stopped talking yet. <laughs> But I love him. He's got chatting with these guys, Kim, and he won't tell us his name. Dave. And Dave. Dave. Sharky. Sweet as a nut, salt of the earth, and I've got some portraits Dave as well, Sharky. so I'll share them. Dave, Dave the what? Dave the Rave. Dave the Rave. Right, guys, we're signing out. Subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, and um, see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. <laughs>